what's up everybody and welcome to my battleground 2015 review the first unfortunate part is that the live reaction somewhat did not work out well in a way um when i posted them we had audio problems and people said there was no sound and i don't know how to really fix the sound and i'm not going to redo the same reaction again because it would look kind of fake in a way after the first time you see it but it's it really good, you know, if I got it right, maybe, but it, it wouldn't be good if I do it the same thing. Maybe there are like two matches I would get, but let's start this pay-per-view off. Um, Pre-show match, Wade Bear versus our true for this King Crown, which King of the Ring does nothing for you at this point. I kept hearing online that they don't even want to call Wade Bear Wade Bear anymore. I don't know what's wrong with the word Wade, but... I don't know. This match meant nothing, and Barrett continues to just is push because he he goes nowhere with King of the Ring. Like he sucks bad. I didn't know it would be that, that bad. And I I liked our truth, but after the, all the shit they've done to him, it's hard to like him anymore. People think he just just it's money over morals, I guess. Especially the ridiculous shit they have him come out and do. Barrett, I can't even trust Barrett because he gets injured a lot. That was the pre-show match. First match tonight, Randy Orton versus Sheamus for the millionth time. Which, glad this wasn't a bad match because it was in Randy Orton's hometown in St. Louis, Missouri. And the crowd actually had a reaction for him and stuff. So, as much as I'm tired of seeing them and Sheamus has no momentum or any type of juice in them to be money in the bank. You know, pretty much, Sheamus hit the clover field. And pretty much after the ref told me got a five count. Jamie tried to pick Orton up, Orton popped out of nowhere, hit the RKO, won the match. So, that happened. Orton with a big win. So, it was really actually a good match, because usually I get bored with that match. It's all Sheamus and Randy Orton, but Sheamus, yeah, I didn't think people just look at Sheamus and Orton. And he has no juice in the money in the bank. And her, Stephanie McMahon talked to JoJo, talking about she's the, like she's the big show, because she was really tall, JoJo. So... She interviewed Stephanie and stuff, and that team from this women thing will fight tonight. Who they went against primetime players. Primetime players still retained the tag team championships. It was really a bad match. It, it was all right for what we got from them. Um, Titus O'Neil picking up the win and everything. So it was a basic good match. It wasn't a lot to say about it. Um, Roman Reigns went against Bray Wyatt, which is a long match. And my God, this really is bad. This match kind of dragged along, but it kind of got, I guess, good at the end when they were hitting finishers and everything. Once those chairs came into play with Bray Wyatt getting it in the chairs, Reigns took him out, and then you just see a guy super kicking Reigns with a hoodie on, which we all knew was Luke Harper. You know, the announcer tried to act surprised, but they couldn't. And it pretty much was Luke Harper under the hoodie at Bray Wyatt's establishing at the win. We can't bring it's good that we somewhat. Kind of bringing the Wyatt family back. Eric Rowan is injured, and I guess it'll just be Harper and Wyatt. So that's pretty much gonna happen with Harper and Wyatt, and everything. Bringing some of the Wyatt family back. I guess it'll be Ambrose and him going against Harper and Wyatt throughout this whole feud. Now that's that's what it's gonna be. Um, so at least I give Luke Harper something to do. Give him that. Free Bella. Went against Sasha Banks versus Charlotte, which is almost, I would say, yeah, I usually say there's a lot about women's matches on the day. It was a really good match. The only problem with the match was that Brie Bella was in the match, and while the crowd ripped her apart, she hit herself while trying to get a pin. I almost like she was going to break her neck on that spot when the Bellas held, when both Nikki and Alicia Fox held up and they fell to the back, uh, almost holding up. I almost like she was going to break her neck. And they says, oh, um, Him saying t mortal and stuff, calling one of the fellas that and everything. Uh, I don't know why they called her more old. Oh, Rebella, she's mortal. She never was immortal. To be honest, this match is really good. Just Sasha Banks and Charlotte were tearing down the house. Only, like I said, the only problem was that Brie Bella just sucked. The fans said, Brie, you suck. You, she would try to do the Daniel Bryan kick thing, and people chanted, No. So, this was a really a good match. It just like NXT women. That was the only thing you needed. You didn't need the Bellas. It's like that team belt thing. 
you know, they're pretty much the worst thing out of this group. I don't know why they call. I don't know why they, the team bad. I don't know if it was dominance or something. It was they changed the name again. So I, I enjoyed the um, Divas match, but this match would have been way better if you just took Brie Bella out of equation. Because you look at the match, it's almost like a six out of ten. You would have got an eight, probably a nine or eight out of ten. If you took Brie Bella out of the match, so. Having the NXT women get their shot on pay per view was really good. Charlotte kind of went with the figure eight after um, Bella much knocked Sasha Banks out of the bank statement on on uh, Charlotte. Like I said, it was a really, really good match, to be honest. Even though this whole faction thing, only need two factions. Like, because uh, I just looked at that match, like, only two men are, I mean, sorry, only two women are credible in this match. They actually, are wrestlers. So, Brie Bella, she couldn't work an 11-minute match tonight. You work a 3-minute match. Like, you have to earn your paycheck tonight for once. None of that total divas crap. This is where the people wanted to see some real wrestling. And that was from Charlotte, Sasha Banks. So, NXT really ranked supremely the way because Charlotte got the win. So, I'm, I'm, I was glad with that. But it was actually a really good match. Best part, if you just took out Brie Bella, the match would just really, almost would have been perfect. That would have been NXT standards, right? there. We've seen a lot of good NXT women's matches. Don't believe me. Go look up Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch. You'll see how great of a match that was. So that that was actually a good match. Brie Bella just sucks fucking trash. She she just sucks that bad. Kevin Owens wins against John Cena for the U.S. title. It's pretty much, this is like a lot of matches we usually see. Probably people say it was one of the best, but the finish, the finish, the finish. Once again, Cena still trying to do that springboard stunner move and everything, and I guess some people aren't liking it and stuff. And Owens even pit, hit a good STFU, but we got to the end. I, even that power bomb move was a little bit weird when Cena jumped off trying to get a leg drop. Owens caught him and hit the power bomb and stuff. And so, and it looked it looked cool, but it was a little botched in a way with him doing that move and everything. But Owen Cena hit that STFU and hit the STFU and won the match. Because to be honest, everybody's kept kicking out of finisher. One's doing Cena's finishers, and Cena just hitting multiple FUs, and and Owen just hitting that pop up power bomb and any move he could have. Have in them and pretty much just kick out, kick out after finisher and everything. But what is this going to do for Kevin Owens? Because a lot of people mostly turn the channel after that match because John Cena won, and some people say he buried Kevin Owens. And what's going to happen to him now? Is he going to fall in the same category? Some random guy on Raw like Rusev and others? Because they said Cena, he he just won't put that young talent over. He he won't do it. He won't put you over. And they say he didn't put him over. On, on that either, so I don't know what this means for Kevin Owens, because my prediction is this, okay, him losing the NXT title to Finn Balor in Japan, okay, we get that, but it's like, okay, we're going to take the title off Owens here, then he'll win the US title, nope, I guess me and a lot of other people were wrong saying that Kevin Owens was going to win the title tonight, so, yeah, I, I don't know where Kevin Owens will go on from here now since he lost to Cena, after that, so, <laughs> I just, didn't even think that was gonna happen, but once again, John Cena, he he just he just keeps winning, folks. You know, Vince, he, he won't let Cena lose. He's not gonna let him lose, especially to an NXT guy, I guess. Uh, Miz came out and cut a promo how a right back is pretty much a pansy. You know, since my tough enough days and shows have been missing since the Attitude Era, and he said the authority should do best for business his way when he was champion. He should be champion right now because he didn't want to show up tonight. He said. Big Show came out. He said, why don't we just form Show Miz again? Miz actually cut some of the good promo talk about shit, but Big Show came out. And once again, once again, you know, Big Show, he's got that face turn, heel turn, face turn, heel turn. And I guess he was face tonight. He just went in, knocked out Miz, and walked away. So that was kind of cool. Seth Rollins came out versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. And holy crap, Brock Lesnar. Murdering Seth Rollins. Suplex after suplex, 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 suplex. 
Germans all over the place. And then and then this guy's jumping over the barricade like he's AJ Styles or something, chasing Seth Rollins in the crowd. Just, look at he just jumped over the barricade and hit over 14 German suplexes, people. 14. Even Seth tried to flip out of one of them and kept kicking Brock Lesnar like five times. It didn't work. And surprisingly, this whole title match was really short. After he kept hitting all those Germans and everything, and the crowd just went nuts and stuff for him. And everything. As soon as he hit the F5 and got the counter, the lights went out and the gong happened. Because we knew it was going to be a screwy finish. I kept saying it's going to be a screwy finish, but I kept hearing rumors for the past three, four days that Undertaker was coming. And Undertaker showed up. People say it could either be Triple H coming out, maybe the Shield will return, or some type of a party. Like type of finish, but oh, the lights went out. The Undertaker shows up, looks at Brock Lesnar, goes in for a choke slam, but Brock dodged to try it with F5. Taker kicks him in the nuts, choke slam, and then Undertaker hit Tombstone. And I'm very kind of disappointed now that I can't even post that video of the match. And it was a four minute title match, people. I looked up, it was like four minutes and five seconds this title match was. And pay per view really ended early. I got the reaction, but you won't hear any sound, unfortunately. That's why I don't even want to post it up. I may have already did, but I, I may not post it up since the sound quality. Just, I don't know what happened with it, why the sound wasn't working. And yeah, I sound went nuts, but some people look at this now. Who's the face? How about Brock Lesnar was the face? People were going nuts for Brock Lesnar to chant Suplex City, and people were going crazy for Brock Lesnar. Was Undertaker to heal? I don't think so, because people looked at him as a face and cheered. Went nuts for the Undertaker, and pretty much Taker, I guess, getting his revenge, and I guess this will be the revenge of the streak, which will probably be at SummerSlam because I doubt that this rematch will be at WrestleMania, and I don't know what's gonna happen. This who's gonna fight Seth Rollins now for the title? And they only kept Brock Lesnar like what for a month to fight, a month to fight um Seth Rollins for Lesnar and. I, I don't know, but the crowd was really good tonight, but a lot of people say this pay-per-view was just really kind of trash, to be honest, about some matches. I didn't care about the pre-show match. Orton's Sheamus, I've seen it a thousand times. The only reason I was good, I guess, was because in Orton's hometown. Um, Primetime Players versus New Day, was just, it was basic, kind of like a SmackDown match. SmackDown type of time. Um, Divas match, some say, was one of the best matches on the show. Yeah, it was almost one of the best matches, surprisingly. The only reason why it was really that good because it was Sasha Banks and, and uh, Charlotte. Brie Bella stunk up the whole match. Didn't even belong. Didn't know where belong in that match. And the crowd ripped her apart. So I was satisfied with that. Owens versus Cena. I know a lot of people I know just turn the channels. I'm not watching this anymore. They go, oh, Cena won again. Don't put over young talent. So... One's loss, which I'm almost surprised also. And I guess this whole Undertaker appearance, returning back again, the dead man, was like, we didn't, I guess I should have saw it coming, but I didn't believe the rumors. And it happened. That was a very short title match, and the pay per view ended early. So I don't know who's next in line to face Seth Rollins. I don't know who you got left. You can't put him against Ambrose again. You burnt Ambrose out. And then, you know, we got it on, you know, uh, Dean Ambrose got this big push, but now we send him back to the mid card again. I don't know who, who's going to fight Seth Rollins now. And as we got The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar, who's going to show up on Raw? I don't even know who to Mostly this match will lead in the SummerSlam when it comes in. I guess this is not a, like I said, it's the revenge of the streak. So Undertaker got his payback tonight, but he, won, he wants that rematch. But for once, I guess Undertaker didn't play Groundhog Day this year. Usually we only see Undertaker once a year, but we get to see Undertaker twice a year this time. So, dead man, at least he looked in better shape. He looked better than he did last year. Undertaker looked like the Undertaker, so he really was the Undertaker this time. Or Fire Taker, he looked like a decrepit old man at WrestleMania last year. He looked like him, like Undertaker, even though his match with Bray Wyatt was somewhat a little bit pointless, but... Dead man is back, and who's the face? Who's the heel out of this? Because people went nuts for both of them, but Brock Lesnar is the face. Even though they boo when they bring up the streak of him beating it, who's really the face and who's really the heel out of this whole feud now with Undertaker and Brock Lesnar? I don't know, but we shall wait and see. So, once again, it's me, it's me, Dave Shovel D, coming to news and reviews. You know, you know what I do. Show here, I go.
Soul. It's going down. Battleground. I don't know what's going to work for live reactions. I don't know if I... I don't really need to go back and do it again. The reaction just to get a sound quality because it wouldn't really mean anything that much. But I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought about Battleground.